Hello my fertility friends, I'm Anne and in this video I tell you all about the breast pain and what is a breast pain and of course how you can use it to get pregnant. So what is a breast pain? A breast pain, also called breast symptom, is a sign of your body that you can observe in your cycle. But when and why there's a breast symptom or breast pain? That's not already answered from the scientists because there are not so much studies about this breast symptom. The most scientists think that the breast pain is there because it is the first preparation from the body for the breastfeeding after a pregnancy. And it's so, when you see on the natural cycle the hormone levels, then you see clearly there's the change before ovulation and after ovulation. Because of these changes, the breast pain starts. Okay, after ovulation, there's more progesterone hormone in your body, and then also your breast starts to hurt maybe a little bit. Maybe your body thinking that you are pregnant, maybe, and then start with the production of milk, pre-production, not really a production for the baby. But it could be that shortly after your ovulation there was a fertilization and now the egg going to your uterus. And at this time your body hopefully thinking you are getting pregnant soon and your body starts with a preparation for the milk production. And now you can look at this survey then you can see 60% of women have the breast pain after their temperature rise. 5% you can see have the breast pain rather around ovulation. 13% have the breast pain around the ovulation and after temperature rise in, in varying quality. And 12% have around the ovulation the breast pain and also after temperature wise but in the same quality and 10 person said I have no breast signs but only in combination with the cervical mucus and basal body temperature. The symptothermal method with this main body signs body temperature and cervical mucus this is really a good method to find out when is really your ovulation and when it's really over. The breast pain is not so meaningful that it's for its own show you when is your ovulation and when it's over. That is not enough, okay? So, you can use the symptothermal method and measure your basal body temperature in combination with the cervical mucus and then also look at your breast signs and see oh yes it's after my temperature rise and oh yes of course now it's really over my ovulation is really over and my breast sign starts then it's really a good method and a good body sign for you also you can use it for a very clearly sign when your next menstruation starts but of course when you want to get pregnant then you don't want that the next menstruation starts <laughs> okay but it could be yes when you are not pregnant that shortly before your next menstruation starts your breast sign starts you can see it in this example with my cycle and a few days later on the 28th day of cycle starts my breast symptoms 
I'm whited with a big B, letter B, you can see it in the picture. And there you can also see six days there are the birth symptoms and then starts my period. So our next interesting question is, is the birth symptom a sign of pregnancy? If you want to know if you are pregnant and you have a burst pain for many days and you had sex at your ovulation time, yeah, maybe you are pregnant, but you cannot know this exactly, uh, not 100%, when you only feel your worst symptoms. If you really want to know this, then you have to measure your body temperature and then you can see, oh, when your body temperature is 18 days in the high level, then you are very likely pregnant. In my experience, it was so. In my first pregnancy cycle, there I had really long breath symptoms and also my temperature was high many days. And I said, oh, maybe I am pregnant and make a test. And that was positive. So in my second pregnancy, yeah, in this cycle, when I get pregnant for the second time, it was so that I had a bleeding. I had like uh, my normal menstruation bleeding and my temperature was high and also my breast symptoms was still there. And I think, oh, then it couldn't be that I'm pregnant, but my breast symptoms are still there. No? And then I was not so sure if I'm pregnant or not. And then I measure again my temperature in the next days and see, oh, it's still in the high level. And then I make a pregnancy test and see, oh, it's positive, I was pregnant again. So you can see it could be a really good sign of a pregnancy, but only in the combination with the body temperature and the cervical mucus. So what is the difference between breast pain and breast tingling? Breast pain is a really hard feeling inside your breast. Maybe your breast feeling hard and when you touch it it hurts a little bit and some women said also the bra isn't fit so good more in this um, time of your cycle and of course the breast pain is a sign of your body which is mostly after the temperature wise yeah? but the breast tingling is a sign of your body it's a sign of ovulation, of course, around the ovulation, yeah? around the temperature wise, around the time when your cervical mucus is stretchy and transparent. Uh, so the breast tingling, it's feeling good for most women, it's feeling good and it's like a tingling inside your breast. Maybe you have to touch it to feel um, good with it. But it's really another sign of your body. The breast tingling and the breast pain are really different signs of your body. Now my conclusion about the breast pain. So the breast pain or breast symptoms are a really interesting sign of your body. You can use it for many things when you also observe your body with the basal body temperature and cervical mucus in combination, you can see really interesting things in your cycle. For example, if you are not so sure that you are now in the high level of your body temperature, yeah, in the time after your ovulation, then you have another sign of your body. With the observation of your breast pain, you are even more confident that you are in the high level of your body 
temperature but only when you also observe your basal body temperature and your cervical mucus of course you can also use the breast symptom for a menstrual prognosis because it starts some days before your next menstruation starts and of course the breast symptom also can be used when you measure your body temperature and see oh there are 18 days in the high level and also feeling your breast symptoms then you are very likely pregnant so that was my information for you and when you want to know more about the symptom method, method then look at this video so look at the links in the info box there you find more about learning how to use the symptom method when you want to get pregnant so and that was your end and that's the end